Sora 2 just released the feature that makes it the best AI video generator in 2025. This feature is called Storyboards and it allows you to stitch together multiple AI video clips back to back to make entire ad sequences. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build an AI automation inside of N8N to do this completely for you on autopilot. All you have to do is upload a product image. It takes care of UGC style video, B-roll, and everything else you need. Let me show you the type of video the system creates and then I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. I finally found a so that's actually good for me. This is Olipop Strawberry Vanilla, and it's honestly a game changer. Olipop tastes like your favorite soda, but is packed with prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals to support your gut health. It's gluten-free, vegan, keto-friendly, and uses no artificial sweeteners. Just real ingredients that help me feel my best. And with just two to five grams of sugar and lots of crave-worthy flavor, it's a thirst quencher you'll actually look forward to. Honestly, pretty incredible. So now, instead of just having a single eight-second clip, all you do is upload a photo of a product like Olipop, and you can get up to 25 seconds of video, B-roll, UGC style, you name it, all cut together completely for you. If you're new here, hi, my name's Duncan. I've grown my AI agency to over $10,000 a month, and I've sold my automations to thousands of customers. If you want to get access to the workflow that we build today, I'll leave a link in the description where you can join the build room to join hundreds of other members who are interested in building and selling AI automations just like you are. If you want to learn how the system works, I'm going to walk you through it right now, step by step. So this is the workflow I'm going to walk you through today. I'm going to go through at a high level first, and then we're going to drill down and go node by node. Everything here is triggered by a form submission. You upload an image of the product in a description. You choose a couple of settings. And then from there, we analyze the image using ChatGPT. We create multiple prompts for different scenes. So UGC style and B-roll clips. Then we merge these together to create our video using Sora 2 Storyboard. We're using a service called Kai AI to generate the video. We're checking to see if the video is done. And then we're downloading that video and storing it inside of Google Drive. That's how the system works. So let me go through step by step to show you exactly what's going on under the hood. So everything here is triggered by this form submission. So when you click execute workflow, you get this form. All you need to do is upload a product image and description and then select a couple of options like the orientation, the total video length, and how long you want each shot to be. So let's go through today and try this out together. So I found this image of Oatly. It's an oat milk. It's sadly out of stock by me, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a screenshot of this image here. And I'm also going to go down to these details and I'm just going to copy these details. So this is the name of the product. If we come back in here, we go into this form. I can go ahead and choose the file that we just downloaded to upload this here. I'm going to put the name of the product inside the description. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to copy the rest of the description. So the system has some more information to go with. I'm going to paste this this at the end here. I'm going to select portrait for the orientation, which is vertical, which is great for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. Total video length today, let's just do 15 seconds, and each shot should be three seconds long. So we should have a total of five clips. And then all you have to do, click submit. We'll send this off to the system and we'll get to work. So you can come here and see that the system is already starting to execute. So what we're doing inside this node is we're just extracting the file and changing it into this base64 format. This is this crazy long format of all these numbers and letters. I honestly have no idea what it means, and you don't need to either. For from there, we're uploading the image to a platform called Kai AI, and we're doing this so we have this publicly available URL. So that way, when we want to analyze the image or use it to generate our video clips, it's available to us. I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up for Kai. This is a great platform to get access to all of the latest AI image and AI video generators. Now, the documentation to upload that file is a little bit hidden, so I'm just going to show you where it lives. So if you go to docs.kai AI and come up here, and if you search for Red Panda, which is the name of the service we're using, basically we have this hashtag based. 64 upload. And this is what we're using here to upload our photo. So that is publicly available. If you want to set this up yourself, all you need is this curl request. So you just go ahead and copy this, come into N8N, hit the plus and type in HTTP request. You can go ahead and click import curl, paste in this information. You're pretty much all ready to go. All you need here is to insert your API key for Kai AI. And then for the base 64 data, just come down here. And all you want to do is pipe in this data here from our extract from file node. Next, we're analyzing the image using the OpenAI analyze image node. And if we come in here, we're using G GPT 4.0. If you want to know how to get your API key for OpenAI, I'll leave a link up here. You can do it in literally less than 90 seconds. From here, all we're doing is bringing in this publicly available URL. And then this is the prompt that we're giving to analyze the image. So basically here, we just want to make sure that we're returning the name of the brand, the hex code, which is the colors of the object, and then a description of what exactly the product is. On this bottom row, we're using a very simple JavaScript code just to calculate the number of shots and the total word count for each scene. Because if we're creating a three second clip, we want less words than if we're creating a five second clip. Basically, all this is doing is some very simple math. So 
if you remember, we set our total video length to 15 seconds and each shot to three seconds long. This is just calculating the total number of shots we want for the video, which in this case is five, because three times five equals 15. And then we're just merging together all of the information from our original form submission, our image analysis, and our JavaScript code to pass this over to our AI agent to create the prompts for each of our scenes. So inside of here, we basically have a user message, which is passing along all that information, like the product description, the image analysis, the video length, shot length, and number of scenes. And you can see on the right here, this is all of the information that's actually getting passed to the service. And then down here is the system prompt, which is basically telling it to generate prompts for an AI video generator, which we're going to use in Sora 2 Storyboard. So we're bringing in the number of scenes. We're telling it that scene one and the last scene are a UGC style scene where the character is actually holding the product and then showing off the product in the scene itself. And then here we just have some information on creating B-roll scenes in the same environment that the UGC video is in. We want to make sure that the script is actually delivered off screen as a voiceover. And I did this because when creating ads, I wanted to have a continuous storyline throughout. And it didn't matter if the person was holding the product in the shot or if we were just showing the product with a voiceover, we we're still telling one continuous story. This part was actually really important. From here, I actually went through the Sora 2 prompting guidelines just to figure out the best practices for creating our prompts. And then we have this output format, basically just showing that we just want each prompt in its own little field. So from here, you can see the output is five separate prompts, like a medium handheld shot of a woman in her late 20s with a slim build, short curly hair, wearing round glasses, holding a 2.28 ounce Oatly Barista Edition oat milk carton in her hand. So then you can go ahead. We see we have a slow push in on the Oatly Barista Edition oat milk carton placed beside a mug of freshly brewed coffee on a marble kitchen counter. So you can see we have this mix of UGC style videos and B-roll shots. If I zoom in here, you can see we're just outputting one item from this. And so we want to make sure we're splitting this out so that each of the five different prompts is its own element. And all you have to do is drag in this output scenes here into this field right here, and it's going to split it out for you. Next, we're merging the five prompts with the original form submission. We're cleaning up the data so that we have this in this nice format, which is the format that Sora 2 expects. And then we're merging this together one more time with the original image that we uploaded. So this way we can now pass the original product image of our Oatly Oat Milk along with all of our strings of prompts to our video generator. One other thing to pay attention to is the price. You can see that this costs 75 cents per 10 second video and $1.35 if you're generating videos that are 15 to 25 seconds long. If we come over to the API documentation, we can scroll down. You can see some of the parameters we have control over, which is what we set, like the total length, like 10, 15, 25 seconds, a place to put the image URL, like our product image, whether we want it to be portrait or landscape. And then here is the part where you put in all of the information about the separate prompts. If we go to this request example, you can see this is actually expected in a a certain format. If you don't format like this, it's not going to work. So basically you need to have the shots array and it needs to have each scene and duration broken off into separate groupings. So we have a scene with a prompt, a duration, and the total duration length, and then the next one and the next one and the next one. So that's why we use this node to create that specific format. From there, we're just passing this over to Kai AI. So you can see we're bringing the information like the total number of seconds that we want to use, the URLs for our images, the aspect ratio, and then again, the prompts and duration for all of our scenes. Next, we're sending this over over to a wait node just to wait for three minutes because it takes some time for these videos to generate. And then we're checking to see if the video is done. If the video is done, we're passing along through the rest of the flow to be downloaded and saved. If it's not done, we're just going to loop back around and wait for another three minutes and check again. Then we're just creating a very basic HTTP request to pass in the URL of our final video. This way we get this in this nice binary format, which we can use to save inside of Google Drive. From here, we're just using the expression now to just give it a file name .mp4 so that when we download it later, the video plays on automatically. And then I'm just putting in the folder ID of the folder I want to save this to. And just to make sure we have the data field name as data, which matches the field over here from our get video node. So this is the video we made today. This oat milk makes every morning genuinely better. It steams perfectly and blends in beautifully. No dairy, no gluten, just pure plant goodness. Vegan, flexi, or not, this carton suits everyone. Oatly Barista Edition true. So this came out pretty great. It got cut off a little bit at the end here, but I think this is a really solid beginning. We keep saying in the industry, this is the worst it's ever going to be, and this is looking pretty dang good. If you want to get access to this workflow already built for you, check the link in the description, join the build room, and get started today. If you want to see how I make more UGC videos completely on autopilot, check out this video right here.